Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all another one of my random Yu-Gi-Oh! booster pack openings. Actually topped locals again this week, so this was the prize pack for the uh, top eight. It was actually pretty fun. We had about 22 people for our locals. Actually got uh, second or third place. The prize packs for first, second, third, and fourth were the same, but um, you know, just that short of first place via the point system but wanted to save all the packs because they were a good amount one of them was my entry pack as well that i just saved just in case i had enough for a full opening with the rest of the six which were the prize packs but let's go ahead and jump in see how i do we have the three legacy of destruction packs the crystal revenge two duels packs and then the valiant smashers so First pack, a Legacy of Destruction, and all right, not bad at all. So I think this was, I don't, I didn't mix up the pack. So my entry pack would have been a Secret Rare, Ragnarika, Bloom. Very, very good start there. I'm wondering, because I think these might have been from another box. And we have, have another choice or chance for a Secret Rare, but pretty cool. Very nice. All right. Now, I remember before people would always, I haven't opened Synchro Storm since Baron de Fleur got banned. So now is when we pull it right so let's see and if we have a foil all right so we are doing pretty well so far for these prize packs it is not baron de fleur but still it's a pretty good ultra lira lusk ensemble blue robin very very nice and totem bird for our rare all right can we pull access code talker i think access code talker is in crystal revenge let's see we have emerald tortoise odd eyes seer we have Evil Twin, Kiss Kill, Gale the Whirlwind, and Full Armor Master. So, pretty good secret again still for all the Evil Twin fans out there. Hopefully one day we can get the actual, you know, alt art. Uh, maybe like a Lost Art promo lineup. I know they've just revealed the next Lost Arts, but I know people will definitely like Lil La and Kiss Kill for, you know, Lost Art potential promos. All right, second pack of Legacy of Destruction. And let's see, what do we have here? All right, we have an Ultra as well. Vidos, the Dragon of Endless Darkness. So an Ultra is an Ultra. We pulled a secret Ultra. And now our last pack of Legacy of Destruction will be a Super. But first we have Soul Burning Volcano. So far we have a good streak going. Can we continue that with Soul Burning Volcano? And nope, sadly, we just have the one rare. I believe the ultra would have been where the C105 Comet Cestus is on the pack. But we still have one pack of Valiant Smashers and the last pack of Legacy of Destruction. So let's see if we can pull anything good from this pack. And the super here is Valmonica Followed Rhythm. I think I lost all of my luck, but we still got some pretty good and useful rares. If you're noticing as well, for the prize packs, there's no uh, OTS. We're completely out at uh, my locals. I think we have to wait for the new OTS 25. Just had too many tournaments run and ran out of the packs. But last pack of Legacy of Destruction. Let's see. Can we end on something? Or are we going to go with that super that I was mentioning before? And Valmonica Disharmonia. And yep, we have the Spearhead of the Ashen City. But we went from a secret to an ultra all the way to a super. But I'm still very, very happy with the results for the good majority of the packs. And like I said, I always like to open these packs on video for you because you never know. There's that chance that I could pull something pretty good. And I think we had that in this case as well. But as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.